All right, let's do it. The Philadelphia Eagles, Super Bowl runner-up. Man, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. But there were some good things about the season. Obviously, you got to the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts had a great season, got paid. Jalen Carter, one of the great players in the draft, the consensus number one overall player in the draft, fell all the way down to nine, all field concerns, withstanding. Uh, great player, great D-tackle to replace uh, Javon Hargraves that left in free agency. You know, things are looking really optimistic in Philadelphia, but there's always concern. And I think the biggest concern going to this season is this tough rock'em sock'em robot schedule that they have. Now, there are some other concerns. What's going on with the safety position? Uh, you know, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, he left and he, you know, he took some shots. He said, you know, I'm rocking with the Philadelphia Eagle fans. You know, that is what it is. And, you know, you had a couple guys leave here and there, Javon Hargrave, like I mentioned, but, you know, they've been able to replace and plug and play those holes before they have players waiting in the wings to replace those players now. So I'm not really worried about that. It's the schedule. So last year, they played what my man Michael Lombardi might say is, a Gonzaga West Coast Conference schedule. This wasn't the SEC that they played in college football terms. It was soft. It was downy soft. This year, it's a tough schedule because they're a number overall seed. They get a first place schedule. So this year, they get the AFC East, arguably the best division in football. You have Aaron Rodgers on the Jets uh, looking to revitalize his career, prove the naysayers wrong. You have a very strong receiving core there led by Garrett Wilson. Then you have the Bills led by Josh Allen, a consensus top five quarterback in football. Stephon Diggs, a team that's looking to rebound off a disappointing season that got them bounced in the playoffs pretty early. Uh, you have the Dolphins, a team that made the playoffs last year with Tua on the rise with a dangerous, dynamic receiving core with Waddle and Tyreek Hill. And then you have the Patriots, with arguably the best coach in football and one of the better all-around rosters, not really any gaping hole that you can point out on the Patriots. And then you have the NFC West with the 49ers, uh, a team that the Eagles beat in the NFC Championship game, a team that feels, uh, hey, if our quarterbacks didn't get hurt, we would have beat y'all last year. So that, that's on the schedule. Uh, my brother ran into Shanahan, at the Kings game seven versus the Warriors and Shanahan told him straight up, man, uh, I, I think we would have beat y'all. Now my brother is a diehard bleeds green Eagles fan. Uh, but that's how the Niners are feeling. If you ask your fan base, they think they would have won that game. Uh, you have the Seahawks, uh, who a team that made the playoffs, a team that for one half at least played the Niners pretty tough, uh, that was able to get a top 10 pick because of the Russell Wilson trade. And, um, they're looking to, you know, build off the season that they had last year. You have the Arizona Cardinals, a team that's struggling, to tell you the truth, with Jonathan Gannon, who, who he lied on the Eagles uh, beat reporters' names. They didn't really appreciate him lying like that, but, you know, he's going to try to pull out all the stops to win that game, and Kyler Murray should probably be healthy by that time. This game is towards the end of the season. And then you have the Rams with Sean McVay, one of the best young coaches in football. Now, I think that this team might be a sneaky number one overall pick destination type team i just don't think the roster is there but it's sean mcveigh you never know what can happen you know that uh monday night game where they played the raiders last year and they brought in baker mayfield off for two days and they end up winning you never know when you have a great coach so um it's an interesting schedule obviously you have the cowboys a team that are, on paper might have the best roster uh in the nfl uh depending on what gilmore uh and brandon cook looks like so that's a team that's definitely going to be tough. The division has all gotten better, Washington Giants. And then you get the Chiefs as well. So this is a really tough schedule. You have to take this schedule seriously. You can't take this one lying down. So they are looking to be the third team in the last 30 years to go back to the Super Bowl after losing the Super Bowl. Uh, 2018 Patriots did it. Uh, 93 Bills did it. Uh, so that's a tall task, you know. Um, just two in 29 years, uh, you know, the percentages on it are very, very low. But uh, I think the Eagles can do it. This is a really talented roster, but they're going to have to get over their division. That one buy, that one team that gets a buy now, that buy is golden. You know, both teams that got buys last year are the teams that made it to the Super Bowl. And I think 
that's not a coincidence. I think there's some causation to that. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, subscribe. And as always, the game is a game.